जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जना वल्लभ गिरिवर हरे गोपी जना वल्लभ गिरिवर धारे यशोदानंदन व्रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रज जन रंजन यामुन तीरवन चारी यामुन तीरवन चारी जय राधा माधव कुंज विहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज विहारी गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवरधारी गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवरधारी यशोदानंदन व्रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रज जन रंजन यामुन तीरवन चारी यामुन तीरवन चारी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे Thank you, Hare Krishna, and I welcome you all to our uh, Sunday lecture today. Today we have a very, very, very special guest, His Grace Amrendra Prabhu. <clears throat> so we are very, very happy and very, very enlightened today to have his association, and also very, very thankful that he was able to manage his calendar and uh, give some time. <clears throat> for our congregation i'm sure that there might be devotees from outside but this is your place so you know i will come you all to our sunday program and we have sent email with prabhu's bio so i'm sure all of you are aware and prabhu is a renowned you know speaker and and devotee in our society today he goes so many places in all over the world and he does you know very deeper enlightening lecture on srimad bhagavatam so of course there is no need for any introduction but just for the formality <clears throat> i wanted to basically set the scene and uh, again you know very very happy to have his association prabhu is a disciple of uh, his holiness radha govind swami maharaj so uh, we are very happy again prabhu that uh, that you are giving time with us in past uh, i tried to invite prabhu to our uh, temple but some of other prabhu is so busy that our schedule uh, didn't you know work out but you know now we are able to talk to him and hear from him uh, virtually i'm sure many of you have been watching his lectures and you know very inspired and he's inspiring devotee all over the globe so i'm sure that many of you might have you know very much watching his lectures and aware the depth and you know the power that he presents through his uh, you know uh, speech or through his lectures so uh, one second prabhu welcome to our uh, sunday lecture and without any further delay uh, i would like to give it back to you thank you thank you so much hari krishna, hare krishna. <coughs> my obeisances to our prabhu ramacharya prabhu thank you thank so you much very for very kindly having me uh, my obeisances to all the wonderful vaishnavas and vaishnavis thank you so much for kindly joining in this is a sunday evening uh, but uh, you still found some quality time to participate and bless this assembly of uh, virtual congregation with your physical presence um, through through technology 
So although Kali Yuga has its own um, glitches, <laughs> it's also a very wonderful medium by which make, we can make spiritual advancement. So let me quickly chant Mangala Charana and then we will start with our discussion. Om Ajnana Timirandha Siddhyana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshur Unmelitam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manobhishtam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Sadam Ayyam Dadati Swapadantikam Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhaktivedanta Swaminiti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharane Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashtata Deshatarine Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare So we are going to discuss uh, from a very beautiful book. Uh, it's called as Mukunda Mala Stotra. You may have heard of this book. This is um, a very, very beautiful, very wonderfully uh, presented uh, literature by King Kula Shekhara, who was one of the 12 Arvars, saints of Tamil Nadu, South India. Uh, you may have heard of the saints of Tamil Nadu called as the Arvars. They're all incarnations of different um, ornaments on the body of Sri Mahavishnu. One Alvar is the incarnation of Sudarshan Chakra, another is an incarnation of the club, um, another is an incarnation of the Kaustuba Mani, etc. So Kulashekara is actually the incarnation of the Kaustuba Jewel on the chest of Lord Shiva, oh, not Lord Shiva, but Lord Vishnu, please forgive me. <laughs> I was just speaking about churning of the milk ocean about 10 minutes ago, so the word Shiva is still there in my mouth, but uh, the, the lotus chest of Lord Vishnu, Kaustuba Mani, Kaustuba Jewel, and that takes an incarnation in this world, that is King Kulashekara. King Kulashekara was a very wonderful devotee, king, just like we have Ambarish Maharaj or Maharaj Pratapurudra or Yudhishthir Maharaj. He was one of those examples. Very deep and very profound in his devotion. And that's definitely evident in his expression of those devotional sentiments. So Mukunda Mala Stotra has about 53 verses in Sanskrit. Mukunda is the name of Krishna and Mala means a garland. And Stotra comes from the root word Stu, which means Stuti, to glorify. So this is a book which is filled with stuti, stotra, uh, glorification, but it is strung like a devotional garland. So 53 verses are composed in a way that first 26 verses are on this side of the garland, the last 26 verses are on this side of the garland, and the middle 27th verse, it's like the 53rd flower, that's the center of that garland. So every verse in Sanskrit, is like a flower in its own. And the whole book is like a garland where the thread of devotion is going through them. So in this way, through spotless devotional poetic Sanskrit verses, we are offering a garland of glorification around the neck of Mukunda. So this is called Mukunda Mala Stotra. Our very beloved Srila Prabhupada used to quote the Krishna Twadiya Padapankaja Panjarantam this verse we may have heard. Prabhupada's recording on this verse is very famous. Uh, that comes from the Mukund Malastotra. And in fact, this is how the book looks like. If you want to have a copy for yourself, it's called as Mukund Malastotra. Uh, the prayers of King Kula Shekhara. And it says His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Prabhupada has given purports to some of the verses and the rest was completed by Srila Prabhupada's very surrendered, capable, sincere disciples. So with that introduction, let us uh, dive in today's discussion. We'll start off with text 37. So if you do have a copy, you can open up your copies or you can find this online on KK songs. You can type KK songs and Mukundu Mala Stotra. It has about 53 verses in the Sanskrit verses given in English 
with the English translation later to follow. So <clears throat> if someone is kind in the, in the participation, if someone in the participation list can kindly post the link of that, so other devotees can also get benefited who come later, they can view through the chat and still uh, tap into our discussion. That'll be very nice. Uh, or if uh, there is a way we can, uh, we can screen share and devotees would want to do that also, I'm fine with that. Ravi Prabhu, can you take care of that? Yes, Prabhu, I just share. Thank you. Yeah, share your screen. Okay. So this is text 37 of the Mukundamala Stotra. Idam shariram parinama peshalam patatyavashyam shatasandhi jarajaram kim aushadam prichasi mudha durmate niramayam krishna rasayanam piva. Yes, that is text 37. The only thing to note here is that uh, the KK songs and the book differ in the phrase like the, on, the on the screen which is shared we can see idam shariram shatasandhi jarjaram patatya vashyam parinama peshala correct but the book that i have which is again a bbt publication it says idam shariram parinama peshalam patatya vashyam shatasandhi jarjaram so if you see me read it the other way uh, i'm reading it according to the book so with devotees uh, all on mute you can i will chant you can kindly respond since it's on mute, you can sing as loudly as you can. Uh, there's no problem. Yeah, let's let's uh, call and respond uh, from wherever we are sitting. Idam shariram parinam apeshalam patatyavasham satasandhi jarjaram patasyavasham satasandhi jarjaram. Kim aushadam prachasi mudha durmate. Kim aushadam prachasi mudha durmate. Niramayam krishna rasayanam piva. Niramayam krishna rasayanam piva. Yeah, so it's a very beautiful verse. Now let's uh, look into the words in the source. It's very beautiful. So idam shariram means this body. So in Sanskrit, when you have to say, when, when you have to point at something, which is a substance, close to us, we say idam. When you have to point to something uh, which is masculine in nature, you say eshaha. When you have to point out to someone who is feminine in nature and is close by, we say esha. But if something is close by, we say etad or idam. Hmm? This one. So idam shariram, this, this shariram, this body, how is it? Parinama peshalam. Parinama actually means result. Peshalam. Just like we know the word special in English. <laughs> Very similar to that. Peshalam. So whatever speciality as parinam, as result we have obtained from past life through this body, uh, that is very, very temporary, he says. Whatever beauty we have got. Let's, let's think about our complexion. Let's think about mm, the exquisite features we may have. Let's think about the color of our eyes. Let's think about uh, our hair, our, our structure, our height, um, muscles, biceps, triceps, <laughs> broad chest, and whatnot. Whatever we have been given as far as beauty is concerned, or, or let's say as far as intelligence is concerned, as far as wealth is concerned, whatever the body brings in, everything that the body brings in, whether it's name, fame, recognition, honor, distinction, appreciation, adoration, whether it's very high class, erudite scholarship, whether it's um, the family lineage in which we are born, uh, physical beauty, physical strength, influence, dhana, abhijana, rupa, tapa, shruta, oja, steja, prabhava, bala, buddhi, yoga, all these things that come with the body. What he's saying is, it's coming out of past activities. It's coming by past karma. And therefore, because karma is material, um, it has a start and it has an end. <laughs> Therefore, it will end very quickly. It will end. We are running out. <coughs> we are running out of uh, fuel. So, therefore, very soon when the karmic reactions are finished, uh, for for us to enjoy this body, patati avashyam. Avashyam means definitely, and patati means to fall. So, this body will drop to the ground. 
And how will it fall? Um, Kula Shekhara is very graphic in his description. He says, Shatta Sandhi Jarjaram. Jarjaram means to tremble <laughs> or crack. And Shatta means 100. Sandhi means to put things together. You know, the tribal lady who put the two legs, the two uh, parts of the body together. That tribal lady's name was Jara. And putting together, the act of putting together is called Sandhi. Therefore, the child who was put together by the tribal lady in the forest is called Jara Sandha. <laughs> so Sandha or Sandhi means to put things together. So in our body, the act of putting things together means joints. The joints that we have. How many joints do we have? Kulashekara says, Shatta, hundreds. I asked a doctor and she said, I don't know, many. <laughs> so Shatta, Sandhi. Hundreds and hundreds of joints tremble. So at the time of departure, especially if you have cancer, think about it. If it's already reached the bones, excruciating pain, excruciating pain. And even if it's not cancer, even if it's not a slow um, departure, even if it's sudden departure, the body goes through a shock. So patati avashyam, as the body falls, shata sandhi jarajaram, hundreds and hundreds of joints of our body are, are finished. They tremble and they're finished. They're cracked to pieces. Kulashekra is saying, Idam shariram parinam apeshalam patatya vashyam shatasandhi jarajaram. This form that we have got is actually a very rare opportunity. We have got it by past life. We have got it by Krishna's mercy. And it's very temporary. It's like the bubble. The bubble, the elasticity of the bubble. How much can we, how much can we trust the elasticity of a bubble? That's all. The bubble will burst and break. Think about um, the life of a drop of water on the leaf of a lotus flower. When it's gonna slide down and fall back into the pond, who knows? Bhajahure mana shri nanda nandana abhaya charanara vindare durlabha manava janama satsange tarahue bhava sindure our Govinda Das has very beautifully sung that this body is actually a very, very precarious situation. Uh, the body puts us in a precarious situation. It's very temporary. It may give us opulences by past life credit, but it's very temporary. And we get proud with that and, and, and we uh, spend all our lives to protect that pride of beauty, of, of intellect, of, of power and prestige and influence, of position, of control in society. But Kula Shekara says, this human form is very, very rare. It can be taken away any time. And when it falls to the ground, it's pathetic. We have to go through so much pain. Janma mrityu jaravyadi dukkhado shanu darshanu. Therefore, this is the time. Athato brahma jidnyasa uttishthata jagrata prapya varani bodhata. Now is the time that a civilized human being must wake up and think that this situation that I have is a temporary situation, but it can give me the highest permanent bliss if I only turn to Krishna in devotion. The Srimad Bhagavatam mentions in this regard. Nridehaam adhyam sulabham sudurlabham plavam sukalpam guru karanadharam mayanukulena nabhaswate ritam puman bhavabdhim nataretsa atmaha Canto 11, Chapter 20, Text 17, Srimad Bhagavatam describes that this human form is actually like a ship. It's like a ship. And this material world is like an ocean. Who is the captain in the ship? Sri Guru. And what are the favorable winds to help the movement of the ship? Those are the words of the scriptures. So we have the favorable winds in the form of Shastra. We have the captain of the ship in the form of Sri Guru who's ready to twist our ear to correct us. We have the ship in the first place in the form of a very wonderfully emotional, emotionally well-kept, financially well-kept, socially well-kept, uh, mentally, physically, spiritually well-kept ship in the form of this human form. We had everything. We have the perfect ship. We have the perfect captain. We have the perfect favorable winds. But if the soul as the passenger still wants to jump back into the ocean of material existence, who can save him? Who can save him? He has to be in that ship and just keep sailing according to the captain's movements, his navigation, and according to the favorable winds of the Shastra. So therefore, this human form is certainly very rare. We hear about it so many times. 
but seldom do we realize the importance. Seldom do we pause and introspect. How am I tailoring? How am I using this? this how, how's the trajectory? How's the route uh, of my going back home, back to God? Is it a proper projectile where I project myself to get Sadhu Sangha, Nam Sankirtan, Bhagavad, Shravan, etc. And then fall at the feet of Sri Hari. Is that what I want and is that where I am going? Srimad Bhagavatam also describes B.C. Canto 11, chapter 9, text 29 describes that this human form, Labdva, Sudur Labhamidam, it is certainly very, very rare. Bahu Sambhavante, we achieve it after millions and millions of transmigra transmigrations. And, and reincarnations. And why is it rare? Manushyam arthadam anityam apihadhira. Arthadam. It is the only form in Brahma's creation who can attempt to get Krishna prema. If you have cats or monkeys or snakes, you speak even Gaur Leela Katha or Ras Leela Katha to them. <laughs> they are not going to listen. They can't comprehend. The cognitive ability of the lower species is not very well developed. Those in hell, um, they are so, they are in a piteous state of cry and howling because of pain that they are not able to chant Hare Krishna. And those in the heavenly kingdoms are busy in the Nandana Kanana gardens and enjoying the association of Ramba, Urvashi and Menka that they don't feel a need to chant Hare Krishna. But we in this human form of life, on Bhumandala, in Kali Yuga, have the most beautiful, wonderful opportunity. There's not enough pleasure like heaven and not as much suffering as hell. And we are not like a lower species where we have tongues, but we can't chant. But in this human form, we can attain Krishna Bhakti and escape the cycle of birth and death once and for all. But still, if we don't do it, we are really, really less intelligent. Therefore, the Bhagavatam says, Turnam yateta napateta numrityo yavad. One should really endeavor sincerely in this human form to get the lotus feet of Krishna. Jai Krishna Bhaje She Bada Chatur. Who is most intelligent? Oh, he who uses his human form to get Krishna is the most intelligent. How do we know this? How do we prove this? Well, think about someone who can get natural spring water in the mountains, naturally available. All that he has to do is collect that, package that in bottles and sell it. Everyone finds the, the natural spring water, but only the intelligent person will think of converting it and making profit. So it's naturally available. So the input is free, but the output is, um, is significant. So he has to package it. Maybe he spends like a dollar or two doing that, but he sends it, sells it for, let's say $5. So now anyone who can, with the minimum input, get maximum output is considered to be intelligent. So think about this uh, human being, the soul in the human form. What is this human form like? It has three qualities. Hmm? It is temporary. It's not eternal. It is Dukkhamai. Think about how many ways you can uh, twist and turn and cut and torture this finger. How much pain can be, end uh, can be uh, endured by this body? Hmm? How many ways we can enjoy with this finger? Hardly any. Maybe like type something or maybe lick Radharaman Prasad or Ravri or <laughs> You know, something like that. So pleasure that we can get with this finger is very minimal. But the way we can torture it and get dukkha is unlimited. So if one finger can give very limited pleasure and maximum displeasure, maximum sorrow, just multiply it by the number of parts we have it in the body. The body, apart from being temporary, point number one, is, is a bag of suffering. Sharira avidhya jal jad indriyata hekal. It is the place of suffering. And so it is... So it's, it's temporary. It's the place of suffering. And third, it is dull, dead matter. It's lifeless. So with these three inputs, which are like the, the, the bad uh, bargain raw materials that we have, if we can somehow catch that Krishna who has exact opposite qualities, Sat, eternity, Chit, full of knowledge, and Ananda, the, the, the source of happiness. So the minimum input is this bad body. And the maximum output is catching Krishna and binding him with Prem Pash, the ropes of love. Um, 
in the in the courtyard of one's heart sarva swachaur hridayan nahi mochayami silva mangala thakur says kara grahe vas sada hridaye madiye mad bhakti pasha ih bandhala nischalasvan tom krishna he pranaya koti shatantare pi sarva swachaur hridayan nahi mochayami oh krishna i will bind you up and keep you in the jail of my heart because you have stolen all my senses so therefore you're a thief therefore i'll bind you in my heart that's the jail so think about a person who with minimum input of his material form human form can get maximum output of binding krishna in the heart so that's the most intelligent person that that kind of business is maximum profit getting spring water in 1 dollar and selling it in 5 dollars you're making profit of only 4 dollars but making a, a a material body and converting that into a spiritual form through the process of bhakti by binding krishna in the heart now that is real intelligence that is maximum business that's the best form of business to get maximum profit so therefore turnam yate tanapate tanumrityu yavat this is arthadam this form can give krishna but at the same time anityam when that will be snatched away this material human form will be snatched away we don't know our ability is very insignificant we are like a dwarf and krishna is like the moon and the time that we have to catch the moon is 2 seconds think about this the moon is very lofty it's up in the air and our ability is insignificant infinitesimal we are like a dwarf our senses we cannot see krishna we can't hear krishna we can't serve him properly right so we are like a dwarf and krishna is like the moon and the time that we have to catch him is one human form which is like 2 seconds in eternity it's just like the blink of an eyelid in eternity so think about the situation of a dwarf who has to touch the moon either this life or another life and the maximum time he has is in the human form which is like 2 seconds all that he can do is cry saying that i can't do it you're so high up there and i don't have time but he can still jump to convince the moon that at least i'm not being lazy i'm trying to jump now you please have mercy on me this is devotion therefore we must try turnam yateta napatet anumrityu yavat before the body doesn't fall to the ground in death we must fall at the feet of krishna while being alive in submission nishaya saaya vishayam khalu sarvatasyat this is the essence of all advice therefore our prahlad maharaj has also said something very similar in the 7th canto chapter 6 text 1 2 3 4 etc in his instructions to his classmates prahlad maharaj says कौमारचरेत प्रज्ञो धर्मा भागवता दुर्लभम मनुषम देहम तदि अर्थम अद्रुव तत्सो न कर्तव्यो यथो आयु व्यय पर न तथा विंदते क्षेम मुकुंद चरणाम भुज प्रहलाद महाराज सेड दट कौमचरेत प्रज्ञो अस्ुन एस यू गेट दिस ह्यूमन फॉर्म जंप टू गेट कृष्ण कौमारम राइट फ्रॉम चाइल्डहुड आचरेत प्रज्ञ धर्मा भागवता perform bhagavad dharma hearing chanting remembering serving krishna selflessly sincerely i don't want anything from you krishna i just want you i have not got you therefore i am getting so many bodies if i lose this form just think about it just close your eyes and imagine we have we have become a pigeon next life or we have become um, a parrot think about a pigeon <laughs> think about being a pigeon on the branch of the tree or a, or a parrot is still luxury but think about a pigeon we have this fear where am i going to get my food from what if a superior bird comes and pecks on me and eats me up what if someone shoots me i don't even know i don't even have a house what if it starts raining what if the sun is scorching what if it's very cold where am i going to make my nest there's a struggle for survival and existential concern what if a cat if i lose my wing and i fall down a cat will just eat me up how much struggle is there we don't have that in this human form why should we waste our time why not just chase uh, the ultimate goal prahlad maharaj said therefore kaumaram acharet prajnyo dharman bhagavatani durlabham manusham deha first of all it is rare to get it then after getting it to maintain it is difficult next life also we get human form no guarantee indradimna maharaj got cursed he became an elephant and who who gandharva became a crocodile and bharat maharaj became a deer from the level of bhav from the level of bhav of bhakti he fell down so we don't know we can't take it for granted that we will go back home back to god in one lifetime we have to be 
realistic also on the basis. We have to check the pulse of our surrender. Mm -hmm. So first of all, to get a human form is rare. Secondly, to maintain it and get another human form in the next life is rare. And that to this human form, when we will lose, we don't know. And when we get another human form, which family we will get into, we don't know. What if we are aborted in the womb? What after coming out? We are in the association of devotees, but we don't take their words seriously. We, we mock at them. We make fun of them. We see so many people. They're born in devotee families. They have devotional association, but they don't take advantage. Maybe they were devotees in their past life. They, ha they may have committed Guru Aparad or Vaishnava Aparad because of which they lost the taste of Bhakti. So Krishna still gave them a human form, but they're not taking it up. Think about that. Now at this point, we have a human form. We have the association of devotees. We have the books. We have the temples. We have the deities. We have the holy name. We have the verses. We have the commentaries. We have the stories. We have the Vaishnav songs. We have the tithis to, to, to celebrate. We have so many things. Still, we are not taking advantage. Therefore, Prahlad Maharaj says, Tat prayaso na kartavyo yatha ayu vyayaparam na tatha vindate kshemam mukunda charanam bhujam. Just accept the lotus feet of Mukunda in one's life and don't compromise. Don't look for anything else. Become ananya. Vyavasayatmika buddhi ekeha kurunandana bahushakhayanantascha buddhayo vyavasayana. Don't be multi branched in life. Just chase your goal like a laser beam focused person. Krishna is saying, Ananya ashchintayantoma. Kick everything out and just think of me. Satatam kirtayantoma. Constantly endeavor to get me. Yatantascha dridavrata, become determined. And namasyantascha maam bhaktya nitya yukta upasati. Connect to me with obeisances, with genuine surrender. Don't ask anything else. Just try to find me. Manmana bhava mad bhakta. Sarva dharma an paritya. Just so many verses where Krishna is saying. Patram pushpam phalantaya. Just try to serve me. So this process of bhakti is very, very powerful. Kechit kevalaya bhaktya vasudeva parayana. Agham dhunvanti karsneya niharam iva bhaskara. This process of bhakti is so powerful that that darkness which has been collected by all night long. You see the moon with the stars all night long they collect from let's say 7.30, 8 o'clock at night to about 6.30 in the morning. About 11 hours they collect only darkness. But it just takes not even the complete sun, just the dawn, the sunrise. The rays before the sunrise to completely remove the darkness of the overnight um, moonshine and then fill the sky with light. Similarly, the fog of all anarthas and all our wrongdoings will be completely broken, completely torn just by the starting sun rays, the dawn sun of bhakti. Therefore, King Kulashekra here, he's saying, Idam Shariram. This form is ultimately patati uh, avasham. It is temporary. It will fall down. Therefore, third line he says in the same verse: Kim aushadam prichasi mudha durmate. O mudha durmate. Mudha means less intelligent, and durmati means crooked. O less intelligent, crooked reader of this book. <laughs> he is addressing all of us. Kim aushadam prichasi. This is the situation that you are in and Kim Aushadam Prichasi and you're asking me what is the medicine to get out of this material entanglement? He says, what is the, the medicine? He says, Niramayam Krishna Rasayanam Piba. Piba means to drink. Niramayam. Niramayam means everlasting. That which never fails. Krishna Rasayanam Piba. Pibare Rama Rasam Rasane Pibare Rama Rasam Pibare Rama Rasam Our Acharyas are saying Pibare, oh drink Drink what? Rama Rasam The taste of Ram Nam Rasane Oh tongue Please drink the taste of the holy name of Sri Ram. So here the same thing has been mentioned. Niramayam, that everlasting, unfailing medicine. In this world, you see, now we are with the corona pandemic going on and we still don't have a, we don't have a medicine out. We don't have any way out. 
So, and even if we have some options, they're all failing. But this medicine, that which never fails, Aushadam, that he says, Kim Aushadam Prichasi, you're asking me which Aushadam? <laughs> Kula Shekhar is saying, Niramayam, that Aushadam, that medicine which never fails. What is it called? Krishna Rasayam. The nectarian ambrosial flow of Krishna Katha and Krishna Kirtan. The names of Krishna, the descriptions of Krishna. Just drink that to your tongue and you will be out of this Deha Roga, Bhava Roga of repeated birth and death. You don't have to worry. Bhaja Hure Mana. Oh mind, please worship Sri Nanda Nandana. Then Durlabha Manava Janama Satsange Tara Huvai Bhava Sindure. With this ship of this human form, you can cross over the ocean of repeated birth and death. Just worship Krishna. Bhajore Bhajore Bhai Mana Ati Manda Gaura Gada Dharadvaita Prabhu Nityananda. Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, Oh, uh, crooked mind, just worship the Panchatattva and you will get out of this material world. You don't have to worry. So that is the Aushadam. That is the medicine, the names of Krishna. So now, with that, I want to move to text. After 37, I want to move to a very interesting verse, which is uh, text 31. I'm um, sorry, 32. <clears throat> Since this will be the last verse uh, for today. Um, since Kula Shekhar Alvar is talking about Aushadam, he is speaking about the medicine to get out of this problem. In this verse, text 32, he has called the word Aushadam again and again. He has uh, used a play of the word Aushadhi or Aushadham. So he is now telling us what is that Aushadam? What is that medicine? Vyamoha prasham aushadham munimano vritti pravritta aushadham daitendrarthi kar aushadham tribhuvane sanjeevanai kaushadham bhakta atyanta hit aushadham bhava bhaya pradhvamshanai kaushadham shreya prapti kar aushadham pibamana shri krishna divya aushadham translation Oh mind, please drink the transcendental medicine of Krishna's glories. <laughs> it is the perfect medicine. Perfect medicine for curing the disease of bewilderment, which is Vyamoha Prashama Aushadam. <clears throat> it is the perfect medicine for inspiring sages to engage their minds in meditation. Muni Manavritti Pravritti Aushadam. It is the perfect medicine. For tormenting the mighty Daitya demons, Daitya Indra Arthi Kara Aushadam. It is the perfect medicine for restoring the three worlds to life. Tri Bhuvane Sanjeevanai Kaushadam. It is the perfect medicine for bestowing unlimited blessings on the Supreme Lord's devotees. Bhakta Atyanta Hita Aushadam. Indeed, it is the only medicine that can destroy one's fear of material existence. Bhava bhaya pradvamshana eka aushadam. And finally, <clears throat> it is the only medicine that can lead one to the attainment of the Supreme God, Supreme Good. Shreya prapti kara aushadam. Therefore, piba mana. O oh mind, please drink Shri Krishna Divya aushadam. This transcendental medicine of Shri Krishna's names and glories. So maybe we can move back to the Sanskrit words so that we all can focus on the words there. It's very, very beautiful. So here, Krishna's holy name has been glorified. Holy name has been glorified. What is the glory? Vyamoha. So the word Vyamoha is Vishesha Moha. Moha means illusion. And Vishesha means very special illusion. Prashama. We know the word Shamanam. Shama means to subdue something. Shamankarna, as we say in Hindi. To put something down. And pra means prakrishta in a very special way. So prashama means not just to put something down, prashama means to remove it completely, to finish it off. So vyamoha means illusion and prashama means to remove, completely uproot. Aushadam, vyamoha prashama aushadam. When we chant the holy names of Krishna, then all the illusion in our life will be destroyed. So here's the thing. Conditioned soul is characterized by confusion. 
You ask a conditioned soul any question, he'll be confused, he'll be bewildered, he'll have two opinions, he will have multiple thoughts. But a pure Vaishnava is never confused. <laughs> How do we know who's, who's a pure Vaishnava and who's a conditioned soul? You see, if they get confused, then they are a conditioned soul. Hmm? I get confused, so I am a conditioned soul. But if someone doesn't get confused in life, on the basis of Shastra again, not on the basis of one's own uh, mental concoction, uh, then that person is a, uh, is a pure Vaishnava. He is a Jeevan Mukta Sa Uchyate. Karmana Manasa Gira Jeevan Mukta Sa Uchyate. Iha Dasyam Harir Dasya Karmana Manasa Gira Jeevan Mukta Sa Uchyate. Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu describes if someone is able to, through thought, word, and deed, offer themselves at the feet of Krishna without any confusion. That person is a liberated soul while being in this world. So which means for us, if we chant constantly, we chant our, we increase our rounds, especially now during the lockdown, we all can do because we have time. Then what happens? Clarity in life is, is something that is attained as one of the insignificant material byproducts of chanting. We will never be confused in life. When Krishna puts, a, puts, puts us at a fork, whether I should do this or I should do that, Naturally, the mind will say, I must do this and we'll give reasons spiritually why that must be done. One will be guided from within as Paramatma because now one is in tune with chanting the holy name, which is, a, which is the essence of all devotional activity. So to increase our clarity in life, to better our vision in life, a freedom from all illusion, we should chant the holy name. That is the only remedy. We can, we can try so much. From tomorrow, I'm going to be very positive. I'm going to only appreciate everyone. I'm not going to look at anyone's faults. I'm going to be humble. I'm going to be tolerant. We can make all those New Year resolutions. Um, but the, the actual way, the, the substantial way, the proper way to develop all good qualities and be free from illusion, to be free from the darkness of avidya is to let the torchlight, the sunlight, the scorching sunlight of the holy name in the field of our heart. So, Vyamoha Prashama Ushadam. By chanting the holy name, we will be free from bewilderment. We will be guided by the holy name. Second, Muni Manovritti Pravritti Aushadam. It helps the sages attain their goal and properly tune their mind towards the lotus feet of Krishna, chanting the holy name. Srila Prabhupada explained the best way, the practical way to remember Krishna is to chant his names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hmm. Satyam Bravimi Manuja, Swayam Urdva Bahu, Yo Yo Mukunda Janardhana, Yo Yo Rasimha, Mukund, Yo Yo Mukunda Narasimha Janardhaneti. Those who chant the names of Krishna, Kula Shekhar is saying, Satyam Bravimi, I'm speaking the truth, raising my hands. If you speak, the, if you keep chanting the names of Krishna, then you will get the higher goal and all insignificant things will be taken away. You don't have to worry. So what even helps sages remember Krishna and attain Krishna is the chanting of the holy names. If we want to follow the footsteps of the sages, then we must become a bhajananandi. We must chant the holy name of Krishna. If we don't have enough substance in our heart, what can we share with others? His grace Vaisheshika Prabhu very beautifully explains that a glass, when you fill it up with water, it keeps accepting water, accepting water, accepting water. And at a point when it's completely overfull, there is an overflow. So His Grace Vaisheshika Prabhu says, we must learn the art of distributing the overflow, which means first the glass must be full. We fill our uh, hearts so much with the holy name that now what overflows is Kirtan, what overflows is Harikatha. But if our heart is vacant, what we are speaking and what kirtan we are leading, it may be very entertaining to the ear, but it will not have heart transformation. Mukunda Madhava Yadava Hari Bolo Re Bolo Bhai Badana Bhari Mukunda Madhava Yadava Hari Bolo Re Bolo Bhai Badana Bhari Mukunda Madhava Yadava Hari Bolo Re Bolo Bhai Badana Bhari 
Bhaktivinoda Thakur in the song Udilo Aruna Pura Babhadu. Very beautifully he has sung that Mukunda Madhava Yadhava Hari. The names Mukunda Madhava Yadhava Hari. What should we do? Bolo re bolo bhai. Oh, oh brother, please keep singing these names. How, how much should we sing? Bodhana Bhari. Bodhana means mouth. Bodhana. And Bhari means Bharna, to fill it up. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, Oh dear brother of Kali Yuga, fill your mouth with the holy name. <laughs> Think about it. Think. If you have to fill our mouth with the holy name, how many names do you have to chant? <laughs> bolo re bolo bhai, badana bhari, mukunda madava, yadava hari. Keep chanting, he's saying. Grihe thako, bane thako, sada hari bole thako. Don't worry, keep chanting. Sukhe tukhe bule nako, badane hari nama bolo re. Whether it's happiness or distress, fill your mouth with the holy name. Hmm? Bol hari bol, Bol Hari Bol, Bol Hari Bol, Manav Janme Pe Bhai, Bol Hari Bol, Suke Thako Dukhe Thako, Bol Hari Bol, Krishna Rasam Sare Thaki, Bol Hari Bol, Bol Hari Bol, Bol Hari Bol, Bol Hari Bol. Bhaktivinoda Thakur has written two books, Bhajan Rahasya and Harinam Chintamani, both on the holy name, on Harinam. Vede Ramayane Chaiva Purane Bharate Tatha Adav Antecha Madhyecha Hari Sarvatra Giyate. In all the Shastras, the glories of the holy name is extolled. Therefore, Muni Mano Vritti Pravritta Ushadam. Two things. That which helps the Munis focus their mind on Krishna is Krishna's holy name. And that which helps us follow the footsteps of the Munis is by the chanting of the holy names. All the acharyas on our altar have bead bags with them. You think you see Bhaktivinoda Thakur is having bead bag, Gaur Kishor Das Babaji is chanting, uh, Saraswati Thakur has a bead bag, and Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj is chanting. All six Goswamis have bead bag. <laughs> so it's a chanting movement. We are part of the Hare Krishna movement. It's the Hare Krishna explosion. So third point, Daitya Indra Arti Kara Aushadam. So Daitendra, which means the king of all demons. What is that? Lust in our heart. Daitya means demons and Indra means the king among demons. The king among demons inside is lust. Kamesha, Krodesha, Rajoguna, Samudbhava. Krishna says it is Kama, which is the root cause of all problems. It is lusty tendency. Trividam Narakasyedam, Dwaram Nashana Matmanaha. Kama Krodha Tatha Lova Tasma Krishna explains that there may be anger, there may be greed, but the root is Kama. Atmendra Priti Vanchatari Voli Kam. Krishnendra Priti Chadhari Prem Nam. The desire to enjoy our own senses is lust, Kam. And the desire to serve Krishna is uh, Prem Nam, is love of God. So Daityendra, which means lust here, Artika Raushadam, chanting of the holy name will destroy all our anarthas in our heart. Sometimes we are so bowed down with the fact that, oh, I am so fallen, I have such bad past, I am good for nothing, I am sinful, I am contaminated, I am polluted, etc. That we don't, we are so absorbed in the problem that we don't perform the solution enough. His uh, holiness Bhakti Tirtha Maharaj would say that uh, our past filled with uh, anarthas and whatever mistakes we may have made, it should not be a hammock. We should not always keep resting on our past. Instead, it should be a launching pad. Think about the arrow. It is pulled back so that it <laughs> propels ahead. So we must think that I am fallen so that we can jump to do what is needed to be done. We consider the problem so that we execute the solution. Not that we so much think of the problem that we don't execute the solution. That is not humility. So, if we really want to overcome our anarthas, we should chant the holy name. This is the Aushadi. Kulishekar Alwar is saying, Aushadam, that the only way to get rid of all our anarthas and aparad and sinning mentality is chanting the holy name. And he says, Tri Bhuvane Sanjeevanai Kaushadam. Tri Bhuvana means three planetary systems, upper, middle, and lower. And Sanjeevana means new life. Samya Krupena Jeevanam. Jeevanam means life and sam means. Completely wholesome. 
So Tribhuvane Sanjeevana Eka Aushadam. This chanting of the holy name and Krishna Katha from Srimad Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Charitamrit, etc., is the only medicine. Eka Aushadam, he says, Sanjeevan Aika Aushadam. Aika means ek. One. It's the only medicine by which our vision of this world will be bettered. Tribhuvane Sanjeevan Aika Aushadam means it's almost like new life has come into my body. I'm able to perceive things, everything Krishna conscious. Everything Krishna conscious. That new life coming inside has been described by Dhruva Maharaj in Canto 4, Chapter 9, Text 6, Srimad Bhagavatam. Yonta pravishya mama vajam imam prasuptam sanjeeva yatya kila shakti dhara swadhamna anyamscha hasta charana shravana twagadin prananamo bhagavate purusha yatubhyam. He said, My Lord, when you touched me with your conch shell, it seemed as if an electric current went through my body and new life came into me. Now I'm seeing you only in all directions. And Anyamsta hasta, my hands. Anyamsta hasta charana, my feet. Anyamsta hasta charana, shravana, thwak, skin, and adi, etc. Including pranan, my life hair. All of my senses with my life hair, it seems as if new life has come inside. And my, my view of this world has changed. Before we were thinking that this place is a place of misery. As Krishna ex explains in the Bhagavad Gita, Dukhalaya Mashashvatam. There's a place of misery. But pure devotees, uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur has written in one song of Sharanagati in Atmani Vedana. That when I see in the 14 directions, I see only happiness. <laughs> Actually speaking, there's only 10 directions. But Bhaktivinoda Thakur says in the 14 directions, I see happiness. Which means what? It means uh, he's actually experiencing Sandrananda Visheshatma, complete happiness in all directions. Even our Prabodhananda Saraswati has said, Vishwam Purna Sukhayate Vidi Mahendra Adi The whole world seems to be a reservoir of happiness. How has this change of conception, change of vision come? The vision of seeing good in everyone. Tri Bhuvane Sanjeevanai Kaushana. By chanting the holy name, every atom of our consciousness gets transformed. And one can see things differently. Fifth, Bhakta Atyanta Hita Aushadam. Bhakta means devotee. Atyanta means extreme. Hita means well-being. Aushadam, medicine. That medicine which brings in the ultimate well-being in a devotee is Harina. It's chanting the holy name. So if we really want to do the ultimate good to ourselves, we should chant the holy name. We should not take it as a duty. It's our life here. It's the reason why we have, in, we have been in this human form. We should speak about Krishna. We should hear about Krishna. We should chant about Krishna. Ayu harati vai pumsam udhyam astam chayan asau tasyarthe yat shanonita uttama shloka vartaya. The Bhagavatam describes for someone who's chanting and remembering Krishna all day and night, the sun is rising and setting only to take this person back home, back to God. But for someone who's not, mm -hmm. the sun is rising and setting only to drown this person in hell. <laughs> so bhakta atyanta hita ushadam. If we want to bring in supreme well-being in our own lives, we must connect ourselves to Krishna rasayanam piba. Hearing about Krishna, chanting about Krishna, speaking about Krishna, chanting the names, the forms, the qualities, the pastimes of Krishna. Bhava bhaya pradvamsanam ek pradvamsana ek aushadam. Again ek aushadam. Ek aushadam means only medicine. Medicine for what? Bhava bhaya pradvamsana. Bhava means material world. Bhaya means fear. And pradvamsana means to completely uproot. Completely uproot. Dhvamsan. Dhvamsit karna. To destroy. So we all have fear, right? We have the fear that, oh, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't test positive for COVID-19. I should not test positive. Therefore, we are social distancing. That's why we are all in lockdown. We have fear that I shouldn't be old. Oh, who's going to take care of me? Who's going to maintain me when I'm old? What if I have an accident? Um, um, in fact, we have small, small fears. We have fear of um, a root canal, like a wisdom tooth extraction, for example, or a root canal. <laughs> we have fear. We ask, okay, where are you going to inject? Where is the injection going to be? Where's the local anesthesia going to be? So we have fear about everything. We arm the house at night with the fear that, oh, no one should, there shouldn't be a, a trespasser. There shouldn't be an intruder. We have fear about everything. 
Even when we're cutting vegetables, the mind says, oh, you have to be careful because if you slice through a potato, it may slice through your finger. So we have fear about everything. But if someone chants the holy name and surrenders to Krishna's ever moving plan and their consciousness is also moving according to Krishna's plan in complete surrender, then bhava bhaya pradhvamsanai kaushana. One senior Vaishnava was defining fear. He said, what is fear? Fear is the difference between Krishna's plan and my plan. <laughs> that is fear. So the more the difference between Krishna's desire, Krishna's plan and my planning, the more fearful we are. And the more closer it is. And when my plan mixes with Krishna's plan, there's no distance, which means one becomes Abhaya Charanaravindare. One becomes completely fearless, fearless. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna starts divine qualities by saying, Abhayam Satvasham Samshuddhim Jnana Yoga Vyavastitihi Danam Damascha Yajnascha Swadhyaya Stapa Arjavam. In the 16th chapter, Divine and Demoniac Natures, Krishna says, Abhayam. The first quality of a divine person is he is fearless. He doesn't fear anyone. Where is that abhaya, abhayatva, that quality of being fearless comes? That comes from chanting the holy names. So bhava bhaya pradvam sanai kaushadam. The only medicine which can destroy fear of material existence is Krishna Nam. And finally, the seventh, shreya prapti kara aushadam. Shreya means Krishna Prem, the ultimate sadhya vastu, the ultimate uh, attainable object, the goal of our lives. Shreya prapti kara. Prapti kara means to make it happen. To, to make the impossible task of getting, getting Krishna praying possible. So Shreya Pratika Raushadam means the only medicine which can give us our ultimate well-being, which is to bind Krishna in our heart with affectionate ropes of love. So these are the seven um, effects of chanting the holy name. And interestingly, there is no medicine in the whole creation which can give any of these seven. What to speak of all seven? Is there a medicine? The Amoha Prashama Aushadam? which can destroy the illusion of a jiva, no medicine. Munimana vritti pravritta ushadam, is there a medicine which can teach us how to walk on the path of predecessor acharyas or which can get the predecessor acharya at the lotus feet of Krishna, like you take in a Tylenol and then you get Krishna, <laughs> no medicine like that. Daityendra artika ushadam, you take uh, half a bottle of uh, syrup and lust will be destroyed. <laughs> no syrup like that. Tribhuvane sanjeevane ka ushadam, any medicine by which our vision of this world will change, our viewpoint will change. No medicine like that. Bhakta atyanta hitaushadam. Any quick fix it pill or medicine or injection by which the ultimate well being in the life of a devotee comes in. No. Bhava bhaya pradvamsanai kaushadam. Is there any medicine in this world which can destroy our pain or fear? We are all afraid. We are all afraid. Huh? Uh, therefore, sometimes uh, we have uh, people who, who sign DNR uh, before, before, uh, you know, before leaving their body. They, they don't want to be put on a ventilator. They don't want to unnecessarily extend their life. Uh, so they say, okay, if my, if my parameters are, are falling, let me leave. Don't let me suffer. Don't put me through a, a, you know, a ventilator in an ICU and then do a tracheostomy and try to pump in artificial extension of life by external pumping of oxygen. Don't put me on any artificial respiratory um, system. Don't put me on any of that. So there is fear, but there's no medicine which will destroy all our fear. Shreya Prapti Karoshadam. Is there a medicine by taking which we will get Krishna praying? Unfortunately, no. There's no group of medicines put together which can give even one of these effects. But this one Krishna arm. One medicine, Krishna Nam, can give these seven as an insignificant byproduct. It can give so many more. But just to name a few, Kulashekara has put seven. And then finally he says, Piba manaha, oh mind, oh rascal, foolish mind. Piba, drink. Don't ask questions. Don't look left, right, center. Drink, Baba, drink. Pio, Pio, just drink. Hmm? Shunite, shunite, Prabhu, santosha, apar. Bolo, 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 Prabhu, bolo, bar, bar. When Sriman Mahaprabhu is listening to Maharaj Prataparudra sing the Gopi Geet, Maharaj Prataparudra is singing. And Sriman Mahaprabhu, Kaviraj Goswami explains, Shunite, Shunite, Prabhu, Santosha, Apar. He feels so much happiness. Bolo, 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 Prabhu, Bolo, Barabar. He's saying, please repeat, please go on, please go on, please go on. 
this is the taste that one gets by taking this this medicine and therefore kula shekra says like that in that mood piba manaha pio drink this which medicine shri krishna divya ushalam this transcendental medicine of krishna katha krishna naam krishna kirtan so in this way these two verses take us from our situation of material entanglement in the human form to the solution of taking shelter of krishna through the process of bhakti as given by the acharyas so i'll pause here i'll give the call back to our prabhu ji prabhu ji can manage uh, the questions or discussions if any the floor is open for all of us here hari krishna thank you so much for such an enthusiastic lecture prabhu hope we can get tinge of that enthusiasm that will be sufficient to drive us you know for this material life for this life that we have you know got on this material planet so thank you so much you know i mean we have been watching your lectures and personally talking to you is really so enlightening thank you prabhu thank you so much so we have questions for we have time for two more questions so anybody has anything please unmute yourself and you know if you like turn your camera on and ask the question this is the opportunity to show your face also to prabhu so please do so thank you i see there is one posting here prabhu so devotee might also post a question in the chat room and there is one already posted there would you like to read that or you want me to read that it will be nice prabhu ji if you read it okay so hare krishna prabhu thank you for the wonderful class while hearing the point of devotees getting drowned in our own problems remembered one of the nectar shared by his holiness radha govind maharaj lord is hin arth ka sadhaka we don't have any qualification which is depressing but lord is so merciful that we have some hope and then quoted the verse jo sampati siva ravanahi dinah din diye dasmat yes. sahi sampada vibhishan ko sab kuch din raghunath raghunath <laughs> can you please share some more on those qualities hare <laughs> krishna i am i am prabhu ji <laughs> yes <laughs> i have a question Okay, go ahead. <laughs> you mentioned that we should we should buy buy in the Krishna in our heart. What that is a bad thing to buy in Krishna in the heart? <laughs> no, it's a very good thing to buy in Krishna in the heart, so that my Krishna never leaves me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> Thank you. Just like just like your your mama would sometimes bind you in her arms and give you a nice embrace. So yeah. similarly, we can bind Krishna in our heart also in love. Nothing wrong. Okay, thank you, Prabhu Ji. Good question. <laughs> yes, coming back to the previous question, Prabhu, can you tell me the essence? What quality must I speak on? So he has basically, I think, the way I receive, he is basically citing uh, that uh, uh, quote here that yes. says that we have no qualification to uh, do the bhakti. Correct. So Lord is basically nartra shakta. We ah. don't have any qualification. So how we receive the mercy of the supreme Lord? Yeah. So basically, Krishna is very, very merciful. Tathai vachanye naraloka vira ya ahave Krishna mukhara vindam netre pibantyo nayana virama partha straputa padama purasya tasmad bhavanta manavadhya mananta param sarvadhyam Ishwaram akunta vikunta dishnyam. निर्विण्णधि अहमुहे वृजिना भी तप्तो नारायणो नरसखा शरणम प्रपद्ये। It is described that the supreme Lord wants us to Him more than we want us to go to Him. It is like the father who has lost the child. The child may find some toy and forget the father, but the father cannot find a toy to forget the child. So therefore, Uddhava is saying, Tasmad Bhavantam Krishna, who are you? Tasmad Bhavantam Anavadhyam, you are completely pure. Tasmad Bhavantam Anavadhyam Ananta Param. You control everything beyond time and space. Sarvadnyam. You know everything. All cognizant. Ishwaram. Very merciful. Controller. Akuntha Vikuntha Dishnyam. You are the Lord of Vikuntha, which has no anxiety. Still, look at me. Nirvindadhi. I am a distressed, confused person. Uddhavising. Nirvindadhi Ahamuhe Vrijina Bhitapto. and i am being burnt by distress in this world still my lord although you are so great 
and I am so fallen, you have come to become my friend. This is your mercy. Because you want me close to you more than I can expect myself to come close to you. So Pejavar Swami from the Udupi uh, Madhva Mat, uh, so who recently uh, left for the spiritual abode, he would say very wonderfully that Krishna is very merciful. How do we know? He said, when you take something, now this is a chess piece. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. It's a chess piece. He says, but if you throw it up, it comes down. Right? Gravity is such that if you put something up, it comes down. But Pejavar Swami said, Krishna works exact opposite. If you throw this up, it comes down. But if someone falls down, Krishna will lift him up. <laughs> that is Krishna's mercy. Therefore, Kamva dayalum sharanam vrajema Aho bakiyam stanakala kutam Jigam saya pae dapya sadvi Leve gatim dhatri muchitam tatonyam Kamva dayalum sharanam vrajema Again, in the third canto, it has been described. If Krishna can accept Utana and make her his mother, devotee should have hope. We may be fallen, but our Lord is very, very merciful. He is very kind. We don't have to worry. We are sitting on his lap. Even if we pass stool and urine, as the child does, ideally even should not. <laughs> but because the child is neophyte and, uh, and, and small, passes stool and urine. So we should grow up. Uh, but even when we are children and we are small, in our path of bhakti, we are passing stool and urine in the form of mistakes. Our father or our mother in the form of Radha Krishna, uh, they are very, very kind and merciful. Jai, thank you. Yes, Priya Mataji, do you have anything that you would like to share? I see there is one more yes. from Rupa Vilas Prabhu. And he is asking, Hare Krishna Prabhuji, how can we keep the focus to fill up our heart till overflow? <laughs> How to fill our heart? Well, we have to perform bhakti. We have to perform sadhana bhakti. Mahat sevam dwaram ahur vimuktes tamod dwaram yoshitam sangi sangam. We must perform mahat seva. Bhakti stu bhagavad bhakta sangena parijayate. Bhakti comes from the heart of someone who has it. Who can give us bhakti? Krishna cannot give bhakti. Because he does not have bhakti for himself. <laughs> he has bhakti for his devotees. So when you beg Krishna, may I have more opportunity for Vaishnava Seva, Krishna will give. But who has bhakti in his heart? Only Srimati Radharani. So therefore we have to pray to Radharani. Radharani can give us bhakti and all the servants of Radharani, all the pure devotees of Radharani, Radha and Krishna, they can fill our hearts with bhakti. We must have Hare Krishna, so uh, we are seeing some technical issue. We hope uh, probably be back soon. Yeah, Prabhu, that was a very nice lecture. I love it, Prabhu. Thank you, thank you. So Ravi Prabhu, uh, are you there? Yes, Prabhu. Thank you. So from our side, we are okay, right? Yes, Prabhu, we are. I think okay. Prabhu is back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, please forgive me. I think there was a fluctuation in the internet. No problem. Uh, Thank you. Me. Thank so you. I don't know till where uh, I was heard. So accordingly, I can. What was the last thing that I was mentioning? I was mentioning that Krishna does not have love for himself. Yeah, we heard love that part. Devotees. Yes. So, so, now, can you repeat that Radharani part? That's where we got missed. Correct. I was mentioning that Radharani is Krishna Prema Mai. She is filled with Krishna Prem. So if we want devotion in our heart, we must pray to Radharani. Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhava Daite Gokula Taruni Mandala Mahite Karunam Kurumai Karuna Bharite Sanaka Sanatana Varanita Charite We must pray to Radharani that please give me some bhakti for Krishna. She will very lovingly give. She will give it not directly. She will give it in the form of um, devotees, pure Vaishnavas. So we must associate with pure Vaishnavas. If we associate with people who are very lusty and greedy and angry, then those are the qualities we will inherit in our heart. If you want bhakti, we must associate with someone who has bhakti. If you want, if you want to test positive for COVID, associate with someone who has COVID. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to fill our heart with bhakti, associate with the premi bhakta. Mahat seva, great Vaishnav. And then perform bhajan, hear about Krishna, read about him, chant his names. And then Krishna will fill it up through Radharani and their associates. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll have the last one just to respect the Prabhu's time and I'm sure all of you have some other you know, obligation. So Priya Devi Dasi Mataji, you have some question. Can you Hare Krishna Prabhuji, yes. Uh, 
thank you for the wonderful lecture one small question uh, as you mentioned that chanting is uh, able to remove all the fear uh, however we we also observe that if the mind is very much in fear sometimes the quality of the chanting is very bad so uh, how do you recommend uh, the use of techniques as mindfulness or other uh, like uh, awareness techniques to help in uh, in the chanting quality if the mind is disturbed this awareness and mindfulness these are terms which have been made in the present generation <laughs> so unfortunately i am not very aware of what they mean but on the basis of harinam chintamani and bhakti rasamrit sindhu whatever i can share i can share with this regard um as far as having fear and uh, being distracted and not being able to call out to krishna well shastra gives exact opposite shastra says where there is fear or where wherever there is distress if one is sincere one's call out to krishna will be uh, multi multifold times higher in intensity agre kurunam ath pandavanam dushasane narita vastra kesha कृष्णा तदा क्रोशदनन्यनाथ गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति इज आवर प्रॉब्लम बिगर देन द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द्रौपदी अग्रे कुरुनाम अथ पांडवानाम इन द कुरु सभा इन फ्रंट ऑफ पांडवस एंड कौरवस व्हाट हैपेंड दुशासनेन आहृत वस्त्र केश दुशासन वाज पुलिंग हर हेयर एंड द सारी and at that time krishna which is draupadi krishna tada krosha she called out at that time ananya natha with exclusive surrender govinda damodara madhava iti she called out when there was pain similarly when uttara was being attacked by the brahmastra of ashwatthama pahi pahi mahayogin deva deva jagatpate nanyam tvat abhayam pashye yatra mrutyu parasparam when uttara had to protect maharaj parikshit in her womb from the brahmastra of ashwatthama she called out to krishna gajendra called out to krishna pralad maharaj called out to krishna draupadi calls out to krishna so therefore it has always been a custom that chaturvidham bhajante mam jana sukrutin arjuna आर्थो जिज्ञासु अर्थ अर्थी ज्ञानी च भरत ऋषभ वन ऑफ द फोर इज डिस्ट्रेस्ड व्हिच इज इन फियर सो देयरफॉर वी हैव टू इंक्रीज आवर सिंसियरिटी एंड वी हैव टू टेक इट टू कृष्णा देन कृष्णा विल प्रोटेक्ट वी डोंट हैव टू वरी भक्ति इज कंप्लीटली इंडिपेंडेंट इट डजंट नीड एनी सपोर्ट ऑफ एनी अदर लिंब वी कैन टेक शेल्टर ऑफ ग्रेट वैष्णवस एंड चैन द होली नेम जस्ट प्रायोरिटाइजिंग कृष्णा एंड डोवटेलिंग आवर मटेरियल इमोशंस एट हिज लोटस फीट देन देयर इज नो प्रॉब्लम Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank, Thank you. you, Prabhu. Thank you so much. So I got a lot of uh, messages here, and everybody is uh, very, very inspired, and they are appreciating your presence today with us, and they are really, you know, very inspired to hear. Uh, just one small thing <clears throat> before we adjourn. I was once uh, watching your lecture with one of uh, my friend, who is a very uh, senior devotee and very good in sastra. So we watched the whole lecture, and at the end of the lecture. prabhu said that uh, you know so i ask him that all of us are inspiring to be a preacher like you know amrender prabhu how we can what are the things that we can do in our daily sadhana that we can be a good preacher and you know preach the message of krishna consciousness then he said that uh, ramacharya you have to know this is god gifted this is a special gift <clears throat> given to prabhu by krishna to pull the uh, conditioned soul in the material world so i do feel that the that the you know mercy that you have got is a special mercy from supreme personality of god at lord sri hari so thank you so much and i'm looking forward to have a association in person with you maybe we can have some sort of seminar and we can work on that <clears throat> we try to invite you here uh, you know before but due to your busy schedule you, you might remember that that we had yes, some absolutely incident. and we couldn't make it happen because of your schedule so i'm hoping that in future you might be able to come and give us your personal association we are in here in st louis and you know we are trying to serve as you are trying to serve on your capacity we are putting our capacity forward 
to serve the best possible way. So very, very grateful for your opportunity, I know for your association, coming us and giving us your association and enlightening us uh, in Krishna consciousness. Lal Prabhu, our temple president. So if he has anything, I would like to basically give him some time to wrap it up. Lal Prabhu, are you there? Yes, Prabhu, Amarendra Prabhu. Thank you so much for coming and uh, for the amazing, amazing presentation. I have heard your lectures and uh, got an opportunity to have a live lecture. And thank you so much for giving your time, Prabhu. Really appreciate it so much. Thank you so much, Al Gopal Prabhu. Thank you. Yeah. So before we adjourn, we'll have the best of pronouns. Vanchkalpatarugasya kripa sindhu vyae vasya kritanam pavane vyo vaisna vyo namo namaha anantakoti vaisna vrindi ki jai I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say when, just wanted to say when our Lal Gopal Prabhu was speaking, I think my internet fluctuated and unfortunately I had to log off and come in back again. So I was just wanted to say that I didn't hear you out completely, Prabhuji, but I'm pretty, uh, pretty touched by the words of appreciation that you offered on the basis of whatever I heard. Um, I'm very, very, uh, I feel very, very happy and privileged to serve this community. So Krishna willing in the future, we will all meet someday physically and I will be able to offer some service menially for all of your pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, Ramacharya Prabhu, for kindly coordinating. Thank you, Lal Gopal Prabhu, for spearheading this community. And my obeisances to all the wonderful participants who gave their... Thank you, Prabhu. Time. Thank you for a beautiful, beautiful lecture. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Dandavat Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Bol. Wonderful lecture, Prabhu. Dandavat Pranam. Dandavat. Hare Krishna. My daughter wants something to Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Bol. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhu Ji, Dandavat Pranam. Dandavat Pranam. I like your lectures in Jaya Radha Jaya Krishna Kirtan. Jaya Radha Jaya Krishna Jaya Vrindavana. We always play that Kirtan Prabhu. What's your name? Samanvi. Samanvi. Very nice. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Bol. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhu. A lot of love from our, lot of love from our congregation. So that's really very inspiring. Oh, how do we have contact with you through email? Something? Yes, we can email. Our Ramacharya Prabhu has my email ID. Devotees can kindly write. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Harry. Thank you. Hari Bol. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, everybody. Hare Krishna. So we have recorded the lecture and we'll have that posted on our uh, Facebook, Temple Facebook account. Also, we are going to post it on YouTube, our Temple YouTube account. So if you want to hear the lecture again, uh, we'll send the maybe link uh, in next announcement when we send the uh, email. So thank you all. Dandrat Panams to everybody for your time. And we'll continue uh, next week as well. Thank you. Tomorrow we have our Bhagavatam daily recitation starting at 7 o'clock. So please join that. That's something that, you know, we are doing to serve you all. So we should be part of that as well. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Dandrat Pranams. Hare Krishna.